Heart Science Samaritan PAD 350P, an innovative AED that provides audiovisual CPR coaching. Let's look at how to use one in a life-saving situation. The Samaritan PAD should be used on victims of sudden cardiac arrest who are unconscious, not breathing, and have no pulse. Check for a response by shaking the victim by the shoulders and talking loudly to the victim. If the patient is unresponsive, immediately call for medical assistance and get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Press the green on-off button to turn on the Samaritan PAD. Depending on the pad pack currently installed, you will hear either an adult patient or a child patient prompt. If the patient is a child between one and eight years of age, you should ensure a pink paediatric pack is installed. If a pink paediatric pack is not available, you may use the grey adult pad pack instead. Adult patient. Call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner. Apply pads to patient's bare chest, as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm, do not touch the patient. And recommends whether or not shock should be delivered. Shock advised, stand clear of patient. Press the orange shock button now. Shock delivered. When performing CPR, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for each two minute cycle as directed. The SAM 350P will prompt you to begin CPR. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. The SAM 350P will tell you how and where to place your hands and instruct you to keep in time with the metronome. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. In addition to staying in time with the metronome, your chest compressions should have a depth of at least 5 cm or 2 inches, and not greater than 6 cm or 2.4 inches for adults and children greater than 8 years in age. The combination of chest compressions and defibrillation is the best treatment you can provide until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Once you have completed two minutes of chest compressions, the SAM 350P will prompt you to stop chest compressions. Stop CPR. And again assess the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Sometimes, no shock is needed in a life-saving situation. No shock advised. And the Samaritan PAD will tell you in that instance or advise you to continue to perform CPR. After using the Samaritan PAD, slide a new pad pack into the unit and store it as usual. Remember to follow your local battery disposal guidelines. Once a week, check that the green light is flashing so that you know the unit is ready in case of an emergency. The Samaritan PAD stores up to 90 minutes of ECG information after use. Use the Saver Evo software, which can be downloaded from the HeartSign website, and the custom USB data cable to download the event data for a physician who may want the information from the device to help inform treatment decisions. After using the Samaritan PAD during a sudden cardiac arrest, submit the Saver Evo file and a completed customer event form to HeartSign. HeartSign will send you a free replacement pad pack. After downloading the event data, please erase the data from memory. If you need assistance to do this, contact HeartSign Technical Service. When a HeartSign Samaritan PAD is used to save a victim of sudden cardiac arrest, the survivor is eligible to participate in the Forward Hearts program, which provides a donation to an organization of the survivor's choice. Contact HeartSign for details. With a unit nearby, you are always prepared to respond in the event of someone going into sudden cardiac arrest. HeartSign, life-saving, pure and simple.